My name is Mr. Musser. I'm here at the beautiful Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve to teach you about some science. Are all rocks the same? Can we categorize them like we do with plants and animals? That's what we're going to explore in today's video about the different rock types. Our first type of rock we're going to look at is called igneous rocks. Igneous is Latin for fire. And these rocks were formed from magma, cooling magma. And I have four different examples here. I have basalt, I have pumice, I have gabbro, and I have diorite. Now we can further categorize these igneous rocks into two separate groups. We have extrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive meaning that these, this is magma that cooled on the surface of the earth, that because it cooled quickly due to air or water, the minerals or crystals inside did not have a lot of time to form, so they have smaller crystals. And over here, the diorite and the gabbro, they're called intrusive igneous rocks because they form below the surface of the earth, so they had more time to cool which gave more time for crystals to grow, so typically they will have larger crystals. So this is one group of rock we're looking at. We have two more. Okay. So our second type of rock is called metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is formed by extreme heat and pressure. So the source of the heat can come from being close to magma, but not melted by it, or it can come from the friction from moving tectonic plates. So these rocks are formed deep below the Earth's surface and they bend and move to form these new rocks. So the examples I have here is marble, I have quartzite, schist, and gneiss. Now you might notice really well at the gneiss that you see these wavy lines or maybe wavy layers. These are called foliations, which can form just with metamorphic rocks. They make cool little designs with these rocks, which well, I think are pretty cool. So let's move on to our last type of rock. So our third and final type of rock is called sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock are layers and layers of sediment, or other rock pieces, that are cemented together with extreme pressure. So my examples I have here are chert, limestone, sandstone, and conglomerate. Now this is the type of rock that you'd find fossils in. They're going to preserve in sedimentary rocks. So in today's video we've been discussing the three rock types. With me I have Ranger Katie. Now she's an expert with rocks. So Ranger Katie, what can you tell us about the three rock types that are here at Oregon Caves? So Oregon Caves is called the Marble Halls of Oregon. And marble is the metamorphic rock that we can see in there. We also have an igneous rock called diorite. And we're going to be able to check out some chemical sedimentary rock as well once we get into the cave. Awesome. Can you take us in and check it out? Let's go. Awesome. So right here we have a chemical sedimentary rock. That water that you see splashing down is coming from the surface. And at one time, it was depositing calcite layer by layer in order to make these formations that we see. So this dark brown rock that you see right here is actually an igneous intrusion. So at one time, it was molten lava, and it intruded into the surrounding marble by squeezing its way through a crack. This rock is called diorite, and it is an igneous dike. So this is a metamorphic rock called marble. And metamorphic rocks used to be completely different rocks at one time. That's going to do it today for our video about the three rock types. Thank you to Ranger Katie for sharing your expertise about the rocks. And we'll see you next time.